Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to your update Mondays for April the 24th, 2017. I've got a lot of things to discuss. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video than normal, but we're going to get right on into it. First and foremost, you'll notice that I have an awesome new webcam. My parents were up this weekend along with my sister and my little baby niece. And my dad was like, I got to get you a birthday present. And I was like, well, I have a lot of stuff, so I don't really need anything. He was like, well, what about for your PC? So... As a result, he got me this awesome Logitech High Def 1080p webcam, which is really cool. It really upgrades. I mean, I look really, really sharp. I mean, it's kind of creepy, but it's really cool. So that'll be used, for, obviously, for my update Mondays. My streams will be a little higher quality because my face will be a little more beautiful and gorgeous and sharp. And not only that, he got me a, a mic, a new mic. A It's a new weird stand with a boon arm uh, comes with a shock mount a uh, little spit camera or fit spit filter thing uh, he also got me a sound mixer as well as the phantom power source that we're gonna do with that I'm building a new computer desk so you're probably not gonna see the new mic setup until I get that desk done I built it and if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or even on Facebook it's up there um, so I'm working on a desk once it gets done which I'm hoping it'll get done this week I'll set up my new mic setup and if I don't have everything I I got an IT guy that I went to college with who lives like five minutes away. He's going to come over and help me. It's going to be really cool. I'm super excited to set up my new desk. It's going to be like a completely new setup, and I am beyond psyched to do it. So there's that. Second thing, I am extremely busy this week. I have a couple of rebrands that I'm working on. Um, one of them is, you guys may know him very well, but I won't say until it's done. Uh, I'm super excited to work on his stuff. I've done a few thumbnails for him. He's a really cool guy, really chill. Very excited for the style that I'm going with him. It's a lot different than what I've done in the past, so I'm super excited to do that. Uh, I also have a lot of freelance work that needs to get done, so as a result, I only have two videos a day going up. And I know you're like, well, sometimes that's how many you have anyways. I shoot for three. I'll say that. On my non-busy weeks, I shoot for three plus. This week, it'll probably only be two a day. You're going to have uh, the ancient, not ancient empires, Terminus Total War, the Achaean Kingdom on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You will also have Stellaris on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is going to be EU4 with a mix of other things. I didn't get to play the Dawn of War 3 beta since my family was up. I'm a little disappointed, so none of those videos. But I'm thinking some Steel Division Normandy 44. I'm thinking some, uh, hopefully some other like custom battles with uh, the different mods that I'm playing with, some medieval kingdoms, ancient empires, things like that. I've got some things to show off that I'm trying, I'm just trying to get to, and that's part of the reason why I'm only shooting for two videos a day this week. Uh, my channel really honestly isn't doing that great. Subs are not coming in, views are not coming in, so I figured now was a good time to really crack down, do the things I need to get done, and then work on some awesome videos so that way I can use them and make them better in the, in the future and really bump up my channel again. I'm not concerned, I'm not worried it sucks but I will get over it also revenue is really starting to take a hit on the channel um, we're seeing that as a result of the filter down from all the advertisers pulling out so I'm getting more views than I did last month but I'm not making this nearly the same amount of money. I'm making about half the same amount of money. So that really kind of puts a hit. But again, that allows me to focus on making some higher quality videos. And it allows me to be able to do more things outside of that. Speaking of outside of that, Twitch. If you guys didn't know, Twitch updated. or updated. They put out a thing. It was a leaked email last week about them having more subscription options. So now instead of the $5 subscription, you can do a $10. You can do a $25, which I'm might say $25 a month is unreal for me. I can't imagine spending $300 a year supporting a streamer. It's awesome if you do, but I can't justify it. But I'm glad you can if you choose to do it. But that's their partner program. They released another thing this weekend called the affiliate program. In the affiliate program, you get some things which may include a subscription. I don't quite remember. My, my face is blue. Maybe if I stand out back here. Sorry. Uh, so it may, may do a subscription thing. I know you can do like the super cheer thing, which is like a dollar or a, a one cent per cheer point kind of a deal. So if you did like a hundred cheer, it would be like a dollar kind of a deal, which is still really cool. It's a good way to support someone without just donating. That cheer kind of stays up there. It, it puts the focus on you, the donator, as well, which I think is really cool. So it allows you to do that. We get like a couple of emotes, things of that nature. 
I meet all of the requirements to be an affiliate partner or an affiliate of Twitch or whatever. Um, it, it's 500 minutes a month. Uh, seven unique days of streaming, three concurrent viewers in the last uh, 30 days, which I do believe I get that every time. But all of that to say, when I start streaming, which I'm going to get that to that in a minute, I'm going only to Twitch. I know a lot of you are like, well, I like watching you on YouTube, etc. I don't have a Twitch account. If you have a YouTube account, it's pretty much the same thing as having a Twitch account. So if you don't have a Twitch account, and you want to watch my streams here in the future, just sign up. It takes like two minutes. You don't get a bunch of crappy emails from them. You'll get a notification when I go live if you follow me, which you do when you get on YouTube Gaming. So I'm really going to switch my focus. And I know I said I would kind of juggle between the two. I am 100% going to Twitch for a while. I really want to build that community and really get some good streams going on that end. So from now on, I will be going to Twitch only sign up on there get going up there you'll get a notification every time i go on same high quality stuff over there just it's on twitch that way so i can build my community up hopefully get into that affiliate partnership and be able to make some additional revenue it's just another revenue stream for me i mean that's really my goal not just to make money because i enjoy live streaming and i will get to that in another minute too but um it just allows me as a full-time freelancer to be able to have another source of revenue which everything right now is going to bills i literally have nothing extra to splurge which is why my father bought a lot of stuff for me um is that oh my word there's a nice little i see what's going on hey i've got sunlight coming in let me just move it over a little bit there we go and I'll just scoot over this way. And so, basically, uh, on the subject of Twitch, I had a guy the other day when I was streaming uh, pubs, and he was saying, and I know he meant it the best way. He didn't mean to be a dick. It just came off very dickish. He basically said, and I may be verbatim right here, why do you even stream when you only have three or four people watching and you don't even upload it to YouTube? So, again, it's the way you say things. So if he would have said something like, can I ask you what your goal is with streaming or whatever, you know, like, but to say it like that, it just came off as a really, really dick, dick way of saying it. So I want to let you know, guys know why I stream. I stream whether one people, one person is watching, whether a hundred people are watching because I enjoy live commentary. I enjoy people commenting on my stuff i enjoy seeing people watching and enjoying my content and engaging in it live you guys can comment all you want on a video after it's said and done but to do something live and i get feedback from you guys i get interaction i love interaction with you guys i love it to death and so to get that again whether it's three people or a hundred that is why i stream that is, uh, that is the beginning reason. Obviously, the other reason is to make additional revenue in the future, but I'm grinding to that. So whether I start out with three people, three people watching is actually myself plus two other people because I watch myself on the screen. Those two people, I'm hopefully making their day better by having something live where they can see what I'm doing in the moment, not post recording and stuff like that. And if that's, if I make two people's day streaming, I've done a good I've done a good work. I've done a good work in my mind. I've hopefully helped two people get through their day if for an hour, if for six hours. I'm helping someone out. So that's the main reason why I stream. I will always stream if I only have three people or if I have a hundred. And plus, all channels gotta start somewhere. I am inconsistent in my streams. I'm inconsistent when, how long, what games I stream how professional I am in my streams, and all of that results in a low audience. I get it, I'm working on it, I'm a crappy streamer right now, but it will get better in the future. That all leads to say, that's why I stream. So if you guys enjoy that reasoning, I am going to professionalize up my streams and trying my best to really make them high quality and worth watching and entertaining. I got some fun, entertaining things I'm gonna try out in the future. For you guys but that's why so i know he didn't mean to come off as a dick but i have to clarify because it came off very dickish and i didn't want to just say well screw you and give you the bird because that's not what i'm about usually usually anyways streams 
this Tuesday, tomorrow, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Standard Time in the U.S. That's right smack dab in the middle of the country. I will be streaming with Iceberg Interactive again. And I know a lot of you are like, yay, finally. Yes, I know. We've been we've been in talks again. Um, I've been a very crappy official streaming partner, and I apologize for that. But I will be streaming some Dawn of Andromeda, which a lot of people will compare to Stellaris. And I get it. It's a 4X strategy game in space about colonizing, managing resources and armies and all of that crap. I get it. I get it. I like Dawn of Andromeda in a different way. It's not as intense, but it's still very high quality, I feel. So I will be streaming some of that tomorrow, and I will be streaming with Iceberg Interactive on a Tuesday, probably once a month to start out with, and we may bump it up to two streams a month at some point in the future if we both feel comfortable, feel like the relationship's there, and the audience is there, and then people enjoy me. So I will be streaming Dawn of Andromeda, tomorrow 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Standard and I will be streaming every Tuesday 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. That is the almost 100% guaranteed date unless something in my life is going different. I'm hoping for maybe a Tuesday Thursday stream. I'm hoping for a a three time stream a week. If I can get the audience up, I can justify it to my wife and then she will be like, okay, fine, you can stream three times a week as long as you're making some decent, uh, some decent dough. So that's where that's going to go. Super excited to get back into streaming. I know once I get a consistent stream schedule, I will get bigger audiences. I understand that, and I thank you for whoever shows up when I randomly stream all of my crap. I appreciate it a whole lot. What we are going to be doing with my streams, Shadow of Mordor. Every single time until I am 100% through it. And I know that will help boost my streams as well because I get a lot of people viewing uh, Shadow of Mordor more than any other game that I stream. So we will do Shadow of Mordor 100% completion. Once we get done with that, I'll put out a vote or I'll just hop into something else. No more Player Unknown Battlegrounds as much as I want to. I may get some actual videos up on that, you know, on my YouTube channel, not streaming, things of that nature, etc., etc. And that's really. As far as I know, from everything I had stuck in here, that's it. That's all that I have right now. Again, that's a lot longer than my usual videos, but I had a lot of stuff to get off my chest, as, lot of, uh, as well as a lot of excitement to get off my chest about all this stuff. My new webcam, my new uh, desk that I'm working on, everything like that. Guys, I hope you enjoy these videos. I, the, the viewership has gone up. The views have been going up on my update Monday, so I think people will realize that I'm doing things that are exclusive to this video right here that they won't get the rest of the week that explains the week ahead. Head. So I really hope you guys are enjoying it. I can tell you are, and I hope you enjoyed it so much that you give it a like. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, if you're on this and you're not a subscriber and you're like, oh, well, this is kind of cool, give it a thumbs up, man. Subscribe to my channel. That way you're always up to date on my content. And if you want to, go and follow me on uh, Twitter. Go follow me on Facebook and Instagram, but more importantly, go follow me on Twitch for those live streams because I will no longer be doing YouTube gaming for a, a good long while. I really want to build up my audience on Twitch, and that is the only way to do it is to stop doing YouTube gaming and focus solely on Twitch. Guys, that is it. I'm Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.